Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to Micronode. So Micronode is not a new framework, but it became interesting to my projects recently or recently for about one year. Micronode ships with JaxRS API. So Micronode started with an proprietary or uh, invented own API and I was not interested at all in learning something new, a uh, new API. And so I ignored Micronode for a while, but right now it became interesting because it comes with a subset of Jakarta E and Micro Profile. This is where I spent most of my server side time. So um, let's create a Micronode project. How to do that? In the case of Micronode, I would uh, like to do this with the launcher. And uh, what I would like to do is to use a feature called JaxRS. Um, this is the JaxRS API, and this will also come with this add inject and bin validation support. So let's do this. Then uh, I would like to use Java, of course, then uh, Maven, and this basically it's so JUnic is fine. And uh, what I would like to do is to change the package to AirHex Live, uh, Air, AirHex, and instead of demo, just go with POC. And I can generate a project right now and save it. So this is done. So uh, what I would like to do is just to copy it into my into my project folder from downloads. Downloads and the name was poc.zip into here. And then just unzip that. Unzip, poc, zip. And I also have to specify the folder. So now I'm in the folder. And here I would like to open the Visual Studio Code. So um, now, how it looks like, let's st start with the POM. So the reason for the launcher is um, here, the annotation processor path. So um, Micronode is an interesting case. What it does is it, uh, it uses annotation processing uh, to, of, to generate bytecode. This makes it very fast and it also doesn't use uh, reflection at runtime. So it's very similar to, for instance, Quarkus. And uh, so it, what it did is it uh, installed for me the uh, Micronode JaxRS processor. And what it also did, it uh, added this JavaX annotation API, JaxRS server, and, uh, and the JUnit 5. So the project was, and of course, there's some some plumbing or plumbing. Uh, Netty is used behind the scenes, and the bin validation that Ed inject was also added. So now, regarding the source code, so the source code is very minimal. So what this only does, it would launch Micronaut, and uh, but there is no endpoints, nothing. So let's change the code a bit. So how to do that? So in the POM XML, at the beginning. There is a main class live AirHex application. What I usually do, I call it JaxRS application in my projects. So go ahead and change that. So I would like to pick that and use the JaxRS application. And yeah, JaxRS application. And I have to pass to Micronaut run the JaxRS application here. So always. And then I'm going to extend my application from uh, RS core and what I can do of course say application path is now uh, resources so this is the business as usual now everything is configured ready to go was a little bit unusual I have a main method inside my JaxRS application actually I never did it before that way but uh, it's fine so um, in, yeah now what I would like to do is to create my first resource now call it the resource airhex uh, resource the Java and uh, this is just stock JaxRS so I have to go and say this is path and this is air hacks and then I can just return a string and the string is uh, let's say workshops and the workshops are uh, return Java web and architecture let's say architecture so and this is going to be get. So, so we have basic JaxRS support. So this is not all. What we also get for free, or for free, which is also supported, 
is uh, injection. So let's create the AirHex catalog file. Let's assume we would load it from a database. And here I can say you are a singleton. So this is not a full CDI support. I can only use whatever was def defined in JSR 330. And then say here, I'm actually returning here all workshops from here. So let's change that. So this is going to be there. And then I would like to say add inject. And this was, what was it? Uh, yeah, hex catalog, 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 catalog. And then this catalog dot all. So uh, this should already work. And what I already saw, there were common annotations in POM. So what also should work is this. I should be able to annotate this with post construct, post construct, and let's just do here. Sustray. Sustrace. And yeah. Okay. And here I would like to return what I had before. So this basically all, so it should work. So let's see what happens. Maven clean install, now run it. And okay, built. And let's see whether it runs. Java minus jar was a target and then POC jar. So it started, looks good, was a quick start. And then according to JAXRS, the service should be available under localhost 8080 slash resources slash air hex. And it is, what I'm curious about is the uh, post construct, which actually also worked. So now we have a third interesting uh, framework, or third, we have uh, lots of runtimes, but uh, we have Helidon and we have, uh, and we have Quarkus, and now we got uh, Micronode, which already supports parts of MicroProfile and Jakarta E, and um, this very lean, no magic, Java SE based framework. So um, thank you for watching. See you in upcoming conferences, uh, projects, um, or even AirHacks yeah, live. So thank you and bye.